Welcome, 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 Collected to Queen Self for Real Tarot. Glad to have you guys join me once again. <clears throat> Gonna check the energy here to see what Spirit has to say. Um, remember, this is a general message. So only take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, it could be either masculine or feminine. So reverse the roles are necessary. Also, time is fluid. It could be either past, present, or future energy. Okay, so what do we have here? For the collective, please and thank you, Divine Spirit. What messages do you have for the collective? Please and thank you. Hope everyone's enjoying the day. It's raining where I'm at, so it's like really bad weather out there today. What do we have here, Divine Spirit? Please and thank you. We have thinking of you. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. What is here for the cosmic gods and goddesses who love keeping the real with you? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What's here, Spirit? We have reflection. Spirit, what else is here? Please and thank you for the collective. What do you need them to know? What is it that you need them to be aware of? What is it that you need them to know? What is it that you need them to be aware of? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. We have the dream. And then we have healing. Okay. The energy I'm getting from these cards, collective. Hmm. Wow. What I'm getting here is you're wondering about how somebody feels about you. You're kind of not sure about how somebody feels about you, but you need some insight here. Uh, there is a breakthrough coming here. Um, there's some information, some insightful information that could be useful um, to you, okay? Because you're wanting to connect with how you feel, with yourself. You need to feel comfortable within yourself is what I'm getting here, okay? Yeah. Hmm. The thought of being loved is what I'm getting here. Or if you're being loved here, let's see what's going on here. Let me get one from this deck here. Holy Spirit, can I get something from this deck, please, and thank you. Yeah, somebody's healing. Somebody's looking back on um, maybe how things used to be. Maybe, you know, wishing things could be different. Or maybe that, you yeah, know, could have been different. Well, I'm hearing could have been different. Hmm. But whatever this is that you went through this, you went through some sort of dark phase, okay, in your life concerning love here is what I'm getting here. And um, you're healing from whatever this is. What's your spirit, please and thank you. What's here for the collective? Please and thank you, spirit. Okay, we got two that came out. The unending sadness of looking back. Okay. And then we have mermaid in a koi pond. Hmm. Endless regret. Obsessive grief. Replaying the past. Negative nostalgia. Rediscover your individuality. And become the dragon. That's the energy that I pulled from the first four cards, the same thing. It's basically the same thing. Somebody's reg regretting something from the past here. Um, maybe the way something didn't work out, okay? And you wanna heal from this, or you've been healing from this, 
this past heartache is, is affairs of the heart is what I'm getting here. Okay. You want to rediscover your individuality with healing um, being here. You want to heal yourself from whatever this thing is that happened to you here. So let's pull this deck out and let's see what's going on here, Spirit. Tell us more, please, and thank you. A couple cards in here don't belong. What's here, Divine Spirit, please, and thank you. Could you clarify for the collective what they need to know? Please and thank you, Spirit. What's here? We have thinking of you, reflection, the dream, healing. Okay. We have endless regret. And um, rediscovering your individuality. So I'm getting some of you may be alone um, because of something that happened here. We have house. Nostalgia, maybe you're thinking about your casa, your house, or where you used to live or who you used to live with. I mean, things are not the same in your life. Okay, it's not, you know, necessarily a house. Uh, a house is a heart of love. Okay, um, not just a structure for, you know, some people. Okay, so take it how it resonates, okay? Wow. Hmm. We got unexpected joy in a letter here. Unexpected joy in the letter. What else is here, Spirit? Yeah, because you're healing your heart here, okay? And in doing so, you're going to find so much more happiness. I don't know what happened in your past relationship. We're going to dig a little deeper and look into that. But there's a message coming in uh, from Spirit that, you know, things will get better, okay? That you will meet somebody that's uh, authentic and that's... Um, that was going to stand their ground with you, okay? But, oh, Spirit is saying, also be careful. This new person could be a liar. Oh, wow. They could be a liar. They could have someone else on the side here. Okay, they could be trying to put you in a third party as well. Wow. While you're healing. Yeah. Spirit said they're going to be there to steal your joy or to steal how much progress you've made um, from past pain or past heartaches here. Wow. Right now, you haven't met this person is what I'm getting here. You haven't met this person. But when you do meet this person, they're going to be kind and nice. Okay? They're going to be very kind and nice and spiritual. And they're going to seem like the right person here. They're going to be giving you gifts. Okay? Wow telling you that they love you okay and then this person is gonna flip on you and change and not be who they say they are okay yeah they're gonna put you in a third party here mm. wow be careful this new person okay they could turn out to be an enemy here mm. and maybe not like your children if you have children here a lot of secrets, dark secrets with this person here. Okay. That's trying to get in your energy. Mm. But see, your heart is desiring somebody right now. Okay. But Spirit saying maybe just now is not the right time. Maybe self-love is um, required right now. Okay. Wow. Some of you are thinking about getting married or you want to be with somebody because you don't want to be lonely. Okay. But Spirit said, be careful what you ask for or be careful who you let in your energy right now. Okay. Because this person ain't who they think that, who you think they are. Okay. You're meeting a representative. You're not re meeting the real person here. Like, some of you are healing and uh, this person that's in your energy now and that's trying to come into your energy is not who you think they are. Well, some of you may have found that out already. They came in now, nice, and then they turned out to be a damn storm in your life here. Wreaking havoc. What else is here, Spirit? They, they, they start getting angry out the blue and you're starting to pick up on these things about this person if you haven't already. 
You will be. Okay. You have desire to be loved, but Spirit saying, be careful who you desire to be loved by here. What is here, Spirit? Yeah, that's why we have the un the unending sadness, like wow, well, heartbreak after heartbreak, breakup after breakup. Okay. I always seem to be ending up with the wrong person here. Hmm. This person may come um to visit you soon here. Maybe for some of you, um feminine energies bring you flowers here. Wow. I don't want to take. They're only there to cause a tower. This is a message from spirit. Wow. Trying to make you sick. You'll be sick. If you get with this person, wow. You will be sick that you got with this person. Yeah. This person ain't the one for you. For some of you. Okay. They'll just be an ending. Is is you know, an ending. If you started with this person, this new person is trying to come in. You're only seeing who they want you to to see. You're not seeing that true person. They're gonna switch up on you, okay. And spirit is recognize that you're healing. That you're healing yourself, and you just want, you know, you desire somebody. You desire to be loved right now. But spirit needs you to open up your third eye. Okay, and be aware of this. And be aware of who's trying to get into your energy space and why. Who's trying to get into your heart space and why. What is the reasoning here? Sarah so says, I only see you being lost, grief, sadness. Sadness here, okay? Maybe just coming in to get your money here. Wow. Your money, like Spirit said. Okay, wow. Or not your money, some money from you. Okay, well, this person could also be jealous of you or that their um, partner could know, their person could know what they're doing with you, what their intentions are with you, um, collective. And they're jealous, but they're putting you in a third party here. Wow, well, you was hoping just to meet somebody that truly loved you here. Okay. This person would be very disloyal here, okay? This person would definitely be wearing a mask, all right? That's, that's what Spirit said. Mm. Let's dig a little deeper here. Spirit. What else would you have us go, Spirit? Please and thank you. This ain't the thick I was looking for, but I don't know. This is what I'm supposed to pick up on. Hmm. This is somebody that you may have known before. Okay. That's trying to come your way. Or you may already know this person. Because I'm not. For some of you, I'm not feeling this is a new person. You know, like this is somebody fresh and new that you never met before. This is somebody for some of you guys who you've already known in the past here. But this person doesn't have good intentions, okay? What's here, Spirit? Please clarify for the collective, please, and thank you. Please clarify for the collective, Spirit, please, and thank you. What's here? Spirit, what's here? Okay. Yeah. I don't know, I was saying... The tower again. Okay. This person may already be already be married to someone else and they haven't divorced them yet. Okay. Spirit is urging you to be cautious with this person here. Find out more information about this person here before you put work into this relationship. This is what Spirit is saying. Find out more information. Yeah, this person is still, this person is married or they're still with their person, okay? You'll just be an Adam. <clears throat> wow, what else is here? Yeah, this person is trying to put you on the third party. 
they're not coming in for the right reasons. Spirit is urging you to be cautious and find out more information about this person. Don't jump into this relationship real fast because simply because you desire to be loved here. Because it will only cause disruption in your life here. You're already healing. Okay. Spirit wants you to stay on the healing path. Or is there will be un... Ending sadness, you know, looking back on things. If you do decide to jump into this real fast or too fast, spirits just want you to be cautious. I'm not saying don't get into the relationship, but find out more information about this person. Make sure they don't have somebody else, okay, already, because you're in the process of healing and spirit doesn't want that interrupted for you. Yeah. Make sure there's not somebody else here. Okay. This person could also have a gambling problem. The reason why they want your money here. Or some money from you. They might also have a, a gambling problem, but they don't plan on moving thing in, moving things on with you. Um, as far as building a home, building a future, anything like that. That though, this is not this person's intentions towards you, collective. So just be aware of that, okay? Hmm. Well, they haven't moved on from their past, from their past relationship. They're still with somebody else here, okay? This is why they can't commit to you because some of them are already married. Or some of them are already in a committed relationship. They're trying to make you a third party here. Wow. And this will stop you, you from healing. <clears throat> and having what you want. The manifestation being here. Okay. In the reverse here. Hmm. What else is here, spirit? Please and thank you. It's still, you know, it's up to you. But Spirit is just saying that this is a, uh, this person is not coming in with the right intentions here. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, a fire sign that we're speaking about here. But your guardian angels are, are watching out for you because they know that you're healing here. You desire to be loved. Okay. But Spirit is saying make sure that you... You know, get some more information on this person before you jump into this relationship or this commitment with this person. Because Spirit is uh, saying this person is already married or this person is already in a committed relationship. You need to get more information. Protect your heart. Set some boundaries, okay? I'm hearing your guardian angels will guide you. That's what Spirit said. Through this situation here. Spirit doesn't want to see you with a broken heart. I feel masculine. Okay, this could be challenging for some of y'all, Spirit said, because y'all simply want to be loved by somebody. But be careful what you ask for. Okay. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Spirit said, this person could be a narcissist. Okay. Well. And Spirit said, no, it's not the right time. For you to be on um, your healing right now is not the right time for you um, to be allowing any, anybody to put you in a third party. Okay. Knowingly or unknowingly, just get more information about this person here. That's what Spirit is advising here. Get more information. Well, this person could make you sick. I mean, or it could make you sick to find out once you accept this person into your life that they already have somebody. They already committed to somebody or this person is already married. This is what I'm getting here. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. This person may want to wine and dine you. This item may come on. This narcissist here. He's trying to put you in a third party. You know, think they smooth or whatever. Come in, want to ask you for some money. This past, present, or future energy. But if you get get with this person, the spirit saying get more information. Okay. Wow. On this person. Because this person is already married. This person couldn't build anything with you if they wanted to. Right now, that's what Spirit said. They already with somebody. What else is here, Spirit? What would you like to collectively be aware of, please and thank you? I'm just a messenger, okay? Hmm. Divinely guided by spirit. Wow. 
But this message is for someone. It may not resonate with everyone, but it's for someone here. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Spirit. Yeah, Spirit said, give it, give it time. Just give yourself some time, okay, to heal. Give yourself some time to heal. Everything in divine timing. Just let things flow for now. Don't try to push anything. Don't try to put yourself in somebody else's world or somebody else's life just simply because you desire to be loved right now, okay? Get more information on this person. Whoever this person is, they're trying to put you in a third party. This person is a narcissist. Okay, this person is a narcissist. This person already has somebody. They just want you to get something from you here. They're definitely not doing anything by the book here. Okay, but yeah. Mm. Wow. The nerve of this person here. Spirit wants you to discover your individuality, who you are as a person. Okay, don't sell yourself short for nobody. For no reason. I don't care how much you want to be loved. Love yourself more. There's no better love than self-love. And spirit can't reiterate that, you know, that much more to you, whoever needs to hear this. Okay? Give yourself some time to heal. Okay? Because there's people out there, narcissists out there, that will wine and dine you just to get what they want from you. And this is the energy I'm getting from this person. So this message is for somebody. Take your time with this person. Get more information from this person. You're going to find out this person is married. Or you're going to find out this person that's wanting to date you or, you know, be with you, that's trying to put you in a third party, is already in a commitment with somebody else. And they have children. They have children they haven't told you about. That's what spirits say. They have children. Or they may not like children. If you have children. Okay, they're just there for some money or a good time, but they don't plan on building a future with you or building anything with you at all. That's what Spirit said. Wow. Could be any sign. Okay, just take that how it resonates, okay? Wow. And if you um, can help it, don't get intimate with this person. Okay? Because some of you still need to build yourselves up, your self-confidence, okay? Abstain. Abstain from being intimate with this person. And you may see something, okay, in this person that you will give you the sign of whether or not, you know, just get more information to this person, okay? Because whoever this energy is is planning on putting you in a third party. They already either in a commitment with somebody else or they're married already and they just haven't told you. They don't plan on telling you. Because they don't plan on building anything with you. I know it may hurt. But Spirit said that's the truth. If you pay attention to, to, to your intuition. Spirit said luck will be on your side. Okay. Luck will be on your side. Mm. Wow. Don't be bewitched by this person. Because you desire to be loved so much. That you allow this person to gaslight you. To you know, tell you what you want to hear. And you'll fall for the trick. Okay. I said it could be a water sign. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a water sign. Okay. It's going to tell you. It's going to gaslight you. Okay. So be careful of this person. Okay. If you follow your intuition and abstain from getting intimate with this person, you're going to see some things. Spirit wants you to gather more information about this person before you decide to commit with this person. You may have dated this person a couple of times here. Okay, they may tell you that they want something serious, but they don't. They don't. They're not going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you that, okay? Wow. For some of you, uh, this person may even try to, you know, tell you something that's not true. But love spell, they may know that you that you collective love children. They may tell you that they're pregnant, but they're not just to get you to be with them. That's for some of you. Wow. Wow. Just use your intuition, your discernment about this person, and set boundaries. And if you can, if you've just met this person, if y'all just dated, and this person is 
you know, acting like they want to move things forward with you. Spirit is urging you to get more information about this person. This person is either in a commitment already or married, and they're trying to put you in a third party. Okay? That's the message the Spirit has for you. Whoever that resonates with, um, I'm going to end it with peace, love, and light. Till next time. Namaste.